How's it going, people? I'm doing pretty good. Actually, I'm doing a whole lot better now. Um, I've been hanging on to this since my Aunt Grace's funeral at my old childhood indoctrination spot. Uh, yeah, uh, the Bible Hall, uh, Sunday Go to Meeting Hall, uh, on 65th Street. In Sacramento. This is one of their uh, literary masterpieces. I have not read it, but I can't help but notice there's like a flaming eye up here and a burning bush down there. So this promises to be stirring. Uh, but in case it isn't, I got some of this, which I've been told, you know, <laughs> could be named after me. Is I'm low and slow, but I'm deep also. Yeah. I just don't show it when I'm on camera, that's all. Okay, well this, this is from the group that we can all thank for making me the way I am. Anyhow, um, this is some really tight print. So I got my granddaddies, my, my cool daddies. My specs. Everything's blurry now. But now this isn't. How about that? Technology, man. Uh, <clears throat> this starts with a quotation, I guess. Or, you know, it's, you know, Dialogue, maybe. I don't know. Be sure you are right, and then go ahead! End quote. That was the advice of one of the great Civil War generals. Maybe to be named later. I don't know. One of them. He was a great one. It was good advice in time of war, when even a small error might lose a battle, or even start a war, <laughs> in case you weren't in one yet. Uh, but it is even more important to know that you are right about your eternal destiny. A failure to acquaint yourself with God's way could cost you all eternity with the lost. And God's word tells us that we can, capitalized, be sure. Emphasis on can. There need be no mistake. You know, when you're convinced you're right and won't hear otherwise, guess what? As far as you know, you're right. Good enough. <clears throat> Another quote from somebody, no doubt. Uh, maybe they'll tell us who. Um, These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son capitalized, not the S-U-N, but the S-O-N, of God. So he's not a son God, he's a son of God. Although, some people say that it explains the halo and all, and anyway. <clears throat> that ye may know that ye have eternal life. And they capitalized Know and have. All caps. So. Hmm. Have eternal life, and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. 
And that's 1 John 5.13. So John said that. One of the Johns. The one who wrote 1 John. <coughs> Man, i got to take these off here. Wow. Whew. Okay. I could almost read it without them. But there must be no mistakes. Okay. The scriptures make it plain that we may know how we stand with God. And that's the real one, not all those other ones. There's only one real one. The rest are fake. That's what everybody thinks. Who believes in just one? <clears throat> but this is contrary to popular opinion. Popular, huh? Which generally runs like this. Do the best you can and hope it will turn out all right in the end. <clears throat> it seems that most people would rather have a hope so religion. Hope so. I'm a hope so. <laughs> yeah. Based entirely on their own wishful thinking, then to find out that facts found find out the facts and act upon them. So they're saying God does Jesus doesn't want us to be rich now. It's so maybe better alert the White House, you know, they've got a religious advisor who thinks that's true. Of course I think they all do. Wishful thinking than to know the facts and act upon them. As one person expressed it, I would rather just wake up in heaven and find it was all a wonderful surprise. That's a quote from somebody. Some unsaid somebody. Some unknown somebody. But, some may say, we cannot be certain about eternity until we arrive there. That's not true. You can imagine some shit, or believe some shit that someone else imagined for you. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, just convince yourself you know that, and just mm, stay there. Nothing wrong with that, I guess. See it everywhere. Must be. It's popular. Then, what is the meaning of the scripture quoted above? <sighs> that ye may know that ye have eternal life. And what does the Lord mean in John 5, 24? When he said, He that Haveth my word and believeth on him that sent me hath hath everlasting life. So there's that. It's a pretty good selling feature. Uh, and shall not come into condemnation. And far worse, no doubt. The punitive part's far worse than just condemnation. <laughs> But it passed from death unto life. Okay, wow. The scripture is plain. Either you have or you do not yet have eternal life. You might have just fooled yourself into believing some shit that ain't true. So pay attention. They're going to straighten you out. You don't if you're already not straightened out in or was already just you know completely plumb. All right, 
Uh, let's see. Either you are saved or you are not saved. Ooh, that's some scary shit. Oh, that helped. Notice also that the promise is limited to those who hear and believe To those who hear the Lord through his word and believe on him. Wow. That's all. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. Not all those posers like Apollo and Hercules or Heracles. A whole bunch. Krishna. A whole bunch. Uh, only begotten son. That's JC. Uh, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish. I mean, they might die, but they're not going to perish. <laughs> They're not perishable. <laughs> they like government cheese, man. They're never going to go away. <sighs> it's going to be wonderful. For eternity. That's so reassuring, isn't it? <laughs> but have everlasting life. Wow. Sounds magical. I mean, here they're talking about wishful thinking, you know. No, to get to the magic shit, you can't get with the program. So, take note. <clears throat> it was uh, John 3.16, of course. Um, <laughs> a true hearer of his word will accept it as God's guarantee that all who put their trust in his Son, S-O-N, will never perish. Never! It's going to be fine. Or be lost. Well, that's really reassuring because I haven't figured out the whole GPS thing yet. I know. A damn Luddite and a cheapskate, but I still like me, so that's good enough. Uh, I think I'm a little tipsy. All right, again, God says about his son, S O N, but as many have received him, to them. Gave he power to become to become sons of God. Then he'll have more than one. That's great. Maybe a whole bunch. <laughs> you can be sons of God, even you, even all of you gals out there, because you know it wouldn't be the same without you. Yeah. And everything's going to be the same, but better in this magical magical fantasy future. Okay. Even to them that believe on his name. And that's Jebus, I think, or something like that. Jesus. <sighs> John 1.12 is where they got all that. <clears throat> In 1 John 5.12, we read, right now, He that hath the Son hath life. So God gave his Son. He gave him. And 
if you will receive him, you will have eternal life. I mean, come on, who doesn't want that? It's so much better than that temporary life that we all have, I guess. Or, or do we live forever in a, a whole bunch of that? <laughs> and it never ends. It never ends. I mean, that's a lot of wood there. <laughs> I love it. All right. To believe and receive him is to believe from the heart that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. I mean, it's, you know, according to Hoyle, <laughs> it's by the rules. That, and that he was buried or interred in a tomb which is what really happened, if it happened at all. And that he rose again the third day. Yeah, but not necessarily a full three days, huh? <laughs> Technically, maybe just barely. <laughs> uh. According to the scriptures, as 1 Corinthians 15, 3 and 4 puts it, that's what they were, they just boiled it down for us, that's all. This is really sweet, but you know what? Now, these are plain quotations from God's Word regarding what He has done and will do. For anyone who will honestly acknowledge his need of a Savior and go to Him <laughs> in your imagination, you can plug in anywhere. <sighs> Acknowledge his need of a savior or hers, you know, uh, and go to him for salvation of that temporary life or possibly. <laughs> it's terrifying. <laughs> Get to church, damn it. Sorry, I gotta find my spot. These glasses help, but you know what? I don't know. They, they are the facts you need to be <coughs> sure. You are right. Shit, is that something that they said in Scientology too and every other fucking religion? That's something called faith. And I'm sorry to say, I mean, everybody has a certain degree, has a certain amount of faith in things, I guess, or trust. You know, it's a something you get as an infant, you know. You start off with faith. They just want you to stay as a child. 
How childish. <laughs> All right, let's finish this. Speaking of which. Ooh, too sweet. Oh, that's, that's better. Be sure you are right. You will now go ahead in view of these facts. Wait. They are the facts you need to be sure you are right. Will you now go ahead in view of these facts? Be assured that God will fulfill his part. <laughs> like he's done in the Bible. All those times. After he didn't do it. He did it again. Or there was a... Let's just say... A, there were amendments. You know, like a New Testament. And then a... B-O-M, and all those others. Oh, I forgot. And the Quran. Mustn't forget that. <sighs> Finding my spot. Go to him! Acknowledging your need of the gift. <sighs> of eternal life, which you get after you die, unless you hear a trumpet sound. Or a trump. Just kidding. Ugh. Go to him, acknowledge your need of his gift of eternal life and receiving his son as your personal Lord and Savior. <sighs> You're so insecure, I guess. Uh, for the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. According to Romans 6, 6.23 Eternity is sure and unending. That's a sweet deal. I don't know, man. I'm sorely tempted to start believing some bullshit because I want to live for it. Not just forever, but eternity, whichever is longer, which between the two. I'm not sure. I don't know. I failed at math. Um, make certain now that you will spend it with Christ. And his redeemed ones, that special 1% again, it's always them. Maybe not the same people, <laughs> but it's 1% of everybody that ever was. Do not wait, because that trump could sound it any moment, like a thief in the night, but it could be in the middle of the day. <laughs> so, I don't know, that's pretty fucking scary, ain't it? <laughs> oh. Oh. That's nice.
do not wait. Receive the Savior now! Oh man, this is some scary shit! <laughs> man, I think I went too far. Oh! <sighs> oh yeah, sorry about that. Almost done. Receive the Savior now and it will be the happiest decision of your whole life. I mean, this one, the temporal one, the real one. Another word for temporal. <sighs> Behold, now is the accepted time. That's Second Corinthians six two, and you should probably read the whole thing. What the fuck, right? That is all. And uh, that is from here. That's where I used to go to church as a child. And they, uh, they did great things to me and everybody else. But some people didn't mind as much as I do. Anyway. That is kind of cathartic. I went a little further than, than I usually do. And I'm not quite done yet. This is what I think of that. Peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. I think I'm about to have a nap. But, uh, <laughs> the fun part comes with the editing. If I decide that this is salvageable, stay tuned. I'll do this again sooner or later. <laughs>